G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now we're going to be focusing on using Microsoft Designer to enhance your quick link web parts across your SharePoint pages. So as we know, uh, the importance of having a, a nice looking uh, SharePoint page and SharePoint sites really does enhance the user experience or can enhance the user experience. So we're gonna take a look at how we can utilize Microsoft Designer, create the right size images and then uh, add those to our quick Quick link. So we can see here that I've got a couple of different examples on the screen. I've got uh, two in instances of the Quick Links web part. I've got one being used for our applications and one being used for something called common resources. But how did we get those images to be the right size so, so that they do display correctly in this particular web part? So let's just have a look at the web part in action first. So I'm going to edit the page. We've got the layout option of grid here. Now the dimensions that we want to focus on for when we're generating or creating images for the grid layout is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Now I'll make you aware of this particular uh, site here which does have all the image sizes and scaling and things like that for SharePoint modern pages and if we do just a quick uh, control F and a find of quick we can see that the quick links web part has six different layouts. We've got film strip, grid and button. They all use the dimensions of 16 by 9 but we've got compact list and tiles that either use a 1 to 1 or a 4 by 3 dimension for their image. Images. So we're going to focus on the grid layout here and we're going to create some Im images in a 16 by 9 format and we're going to use Microsoft Designer for that process. So I'm going to open up Microsoft Designer here and what we can do is we can now use either the image creator and use some generative AI to create our images or we can start from scratch and we can start from a blank canvas and then we can upload our, our own images in that right dimension, all right? So let's start with our generative AI solution. So we'll click the image creator and then we're going to be presented with a few different examples. And when we hover over these images here, you can see the prompts that were used or typed in the above uh, text box up here to generate these images. So if we have a look down here, we can see that we might wanna start with one of these images. So let's have a look at uh, let's use this image here, all right? So an origami scene of a coral reef with sea turtles and fish, bright studio lighting, immersive with motion blur. So let's select this. We can make some changes if we wanted to as well. Um, maybe we go, let's change sea turtles and fish. Maybe we go fish and sharks, all right? So we'll change that. We'll generate this image. So you can see here, it's off generating uh, the image and it's gonna come back and present that to us. Now, one thing to note when it does come back is that it is in a one-to-one one format so it is a square image so remembering that we do want to have a 16 by 9 uh, image here so we open up this image we can see here that we can download it copy it create a design or edit the image so we want to edit the image and make it so that it, rep it displays nicely in our quick links web part okay so here we're taken to our canvas now from the drop down menu up here, we can resize this image, all right? So I'm gonna click on resize and you can see that we've got a number of different options and for different purposes. Now the one that we want to use here is actually what's called an event cover in this list and it's 1920 by 1080 and that gives us that 16 by nine dimension. So we'll click um, resize and you can see that it's resizing the template. We can resize and open it in a new tab or we can just resize and replace. So we'll just choose resize and replace and there is our image. All right, we can add some text. We can uh, do some different things here. We can add some visuals. On the left-hand side, we've got, uh, if we wanted to add our text across the, the image here, we could do that as well. But I'm happy with this image. I'm gonna download this now. So I'll hit download, and then that's gonna grab that, download it. So now, let's op uh, open back up our, um, our image, our, our SharePoint site. And what we might do is just change one of these images. So it's just a simple quick links web part. I'm gonna edit this quick link here. It's already got a custom image, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change that. So I'm gonna change and I'm gonna upload and then I'll be presented with my file explorer that I can then upload that downloaded image 
and I can select it, I'll add the image, and you can see once it uploads, is it displays nicely in that Quick Links web part like so. I'll hit republish, and then we're good to go. So in the matter of a few seconds, we're starting to now generate and create some really high impact images that we can use uh, for our Quick Links web parts here. Now, what about, you can see on the left-hand side, we've got an Our Application section. And you can see that we've got some icons here. So that wasn't created by the generative AI, but it was uh, uploading an image to a blank canvas and then customizing that image. So again, if we use Microsoft Designer in that fashion, what we could do, and I'll just use this as an example, we can add a page, all right? So we can either duplicate a page or add a blank page. Now here on the left-hand side, I can choose my media. So you can see from my media, I've, got, I've already uploaded a few uh, icons here. I could browse from my device, from a phone, Google Drive, Dropbox, Google Photos, I'm going to choose from this device. So again, I'm presented with my um, my file explorer here. So I'll drag this across. I've got some office icons here. So how about we look at, let's find uh, SharePoint. All right, so we'll scroll down. I've got an icon, uh, an icon pack here for SharePoint. I'll go to full color and then I'll choose a big one, 256. All right, so that's uploading. We'll add that to the page like so, it's not the greatest uh, resolution here. So what we might do is just upload a new image. So let's go from device. Now we might just jump back into our Viva icons. All right, so let's go for Viva sales. And I've got nothing in Viva sales. So what we might do, Viva goals, nothing in Viva goals, uh, topics. We've already done topics. Let's find one that we haven't done. Um, let's go for insights. So we'll go for Viva insights. We'll select this image. We'll drag this image across onto the canvas. And you can see there that we can drag this across. We can horizontally align it and then we can vertically align it as well. I'm given some ideas on the right hand side if I want to change the, the look and feel of this, but I'm happy. I just want to keep this fairly simple. Now I'm going to select the background and I'll choose the background icon or option at the top there. You can see that I've got some color palettes that I can choose from. It's got some suggestions. It's got drawing some examples um, and suggestions from the photo itself. So what we might do is use a suggestion from the photo. We might choose this color here, but it's a little bit dark. So I'm going to just going to change the opacity here and we'll just drag it down a little bit like so and then I'm pretty happy with that and that's good. So I'm going to click the download button again but I don't want to select all the pages. I just want to select page two. So I'll select page two. I'll hit download and then that's downloading again and then if I jump back into this image here or this site I'll edit the page and let's now uh, add, we might add a new link to our, our application. So I'll hit add link. I'll just select um, just a link from a, an existing SharePoint page. That gets linked there. So we'll just wait for that to, uh, wait for that to insert. Let's just cancel that. Let's try that again. So we'll go add link, we'll go recent. It's going to have a look at our recent um, items here. Let's go for this one here. So let's insert. You can see here that we've got the link, but I don't want to auto select the thumbnail. I want to use a custom image here. So I'll hit change. I'll go to upload and then I can then choose from that downloaded uh, image that I just downloaded from uh, Microsoft Designer. And there we have our custom icon. All right, so that 16 by nine is perfect for our quick links in the grid view and using Microsoft Designer, you can see how quickly and easily we can then come up with either a generative AI solution for that now that we've got that image creator, which you can see on the right hand side, or we can see here on the left hand side, we can upload our own icons and images. Let's have another little bit of a play with Microsoft Designer and we'll see what um, an image that we can come up with. So I'll just jump back into Microsoft Designer. Let's go with a, let's just jump back uh, onto the home page, and we'll, it will have a look at our image creator again. All right, so again, we'll jump into our image creator. We've got our examples, all right? So let's have a look at, maybe we go a Pixar-inspired 
um, inspired office worker holding a Microsoft laptop in his left hand. Let's have a look and see what that comes back with, all right? So hopefully what we're gonna come back with is, and I've spelt holding wrong, so we'll see how the um, the AI handles that spelling mistake as well in this example. So you can see here, it's just whirring away, spinning away. And there we go, we've got a uh, an image that's been generated with an old school Windows logo as well. Looks pretty good, all right, so let's edit this image. So I'll just click on edit. And again, what we wanna do, if we're using it in our uh, Quick Links web parts, in, our, uh, in that particular view, we wanna resize that. So if I go to resize, again, I've got these options. So we'll just quickly jump into here. Let's have a look at the resizing options. We'll go 1920 by 1080. Like so, we've got some ideas on the on the right hand side coming through again. So it's resizing this template, but you can see it's it's kind of cutting off a little bit here as well. All right, so not I not uh, perfect. All right, um, when we're resizing these images, but what we might let's have a look at at, at how this remove background looks. All right, so that's not too bad. Well, you can see that it's it hasn't got that exactly right but we could if we wanted to then uh, resize this image after we've removed the background, we could replace the background with a, maybe with a solid color maybe. So we could, if we wanted to um, jump on and click the background, hit the background, we could choose this type of background like so. Um, and now what we could do is we could do our resize from here. So if I go resize, now that we've removed and then we've um, changed the background, we'll go hit continue. And what this might do is, yeah, maybe not, okay? So let's just have a look, resize and replace. Let's have a look and see what we can do here. So what we might do is detach from background. And that gives us a little bit more flexibility in what we can do, all right? So let's just resize that. We'll go into the middle and vertically, we'll download that image. And then let's just do, let's just add one more link to our common resources. So I'll just edit this page. We'll jump into common resources. We'll add a link. We'll just choose any page. It could go to anywhere, remember. We'll go to custom image, we'll go to change, and then we'll go upload, and then we'll upload that image that we just downloaded from, uh, from Microsoft Designer. There it is, we'll upload, we'll add the image, and you can see there that it is now represented nicely in that Quick Links web part. We'll republish that, and then we're good to go. So using Microsoft Designer is a really quick and easy way for you to uh, create some better icons and images and things like that for, in this case, your Quick Links web part. So I hope that brings you some value today. Thanks for watching. Go and try Microsoft Designer, create some 16 by nine images, uh, add them to your Quick Links web part, uh, and then see how that creates a, a nice user experience.